Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Roll aka ZRS Gaming here and welcome to my first commentary I ever done. And I just wanna say if you guys enjoy the video, just spend two seconds of your time to leave a like. <laughs> Kinda reminds me of the Peacekeeper from Black Ops 2 because this gun is kinda feels like hybrid between an assault rifle and an SMG. Because this gun is really good up close and kinda fairly decent to medium to long range, but still, I don't recommend using this gun at long range against a sniper or an assault rifle, but still, it's kinda decent at long range as well. If you have enough squad points, I really recommend unlocking this gun, but anyway. The class setup we're gonna having a look today is gonna be on the screen right now. So as you can see is the MTRX with the suppressor and also the red dot sight. And for my perks, first I have ready up, after that slot of end, and then scavenger, then amplify, then resilience, eco and gambler. And within this video I will explaining why I use these perks and then the attachments instead the other way around. Uh, I do this in this order because I feel like the perks are far more important than the attachments because let's say if you swap the red dot for a holographic sight or extended mag it's not gonna change the class that much but if you swap the slide of frame for another perk it's gonna change it a little bit so uh, gonna further ado let's get right into it so like i said the first perk i'm using is ready up which is pretty much steady aim for mw3 or dexterity for black ops 2 uh, these perks allow you to get your gun up faster after sprinting and after that i have slide of hand which is going to allow your gun to reload 50 percent faster and this is going to help you let's say if you're out of ammo of something like that and someone comes around the corner you're gonna have your bullets faster to shoot uh, combine this with ready up is really good the next perk I'm using is scavenger which allows you to resupply ammo from dead players amplify is going to make footsteps louder and you can still hear that silence which is really helpful resilience is gonna take no falling damage which is kinda helpful if you're in a building and someone shots at you and you're gonna fall off you're not gonna take any damage Eco regenerate hull faster, really helpful again. Gambler gives you a random perk every time you spawn, which can be really helpful if you get something like dead eye or off the grid or something like that. Anyway, next up for the attachments, like I said at the start of this video, I was first off using the suppressor, and now why I use the suppressor is just because I really like to rush and when you're on the in enemy spawns you're not gonna sh be shown on the radar because that's what the suppressor does and next up i went for the red dot side because like i said in the beginning of the video it's this gun is really good at medium to long range but still staying on the target at the medium to long range is pretty hard when you're not using a sight I personally like the red dot sight because I prefer the red dot over any other sights within Call of Duty Ghosts Anyway guys that was pretty much for this video if you enjoyed the video please leave a like it will be pretty much pretty so I can see that you guys still want me to do commentaries because I really enjoy making them and if not it's cool as well and hopefully I'm gonna see you next time have a nice day